I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about how not to break your 2JZ camshaft in half while you're installing it. While there's more than one tutorial on the internet of how to put a 2JZ camshaft in, and we still get phone calls about people breaking them in half. Due to the length of the camshaft and the fact that the tappets are already in the head, you are compressing the valve springs when you tighten the camshaft back down in the head. So you need to be careful that you're doing it evenly. Uh, first you're going to locate the thrust of the cam or the front of the cam in its journal with the cam pin in a relative position to where it will be installed. The reason why you do this is to avoid valve to valve or valve to piston contact. So it's super important during this procedure that you do not try to tighten the camshaft from the center of the camshaft to the ends or from one end of the camshaft to the other because it's, it's probably going to break the camshaft. You want to work the camshaft down evenly, so pay attention to the distance between the cap on the cam and the cylinder head and try to work them down and, you know, a uh, couple turns on one, couple turns on another and just try to work the camshaft down into its journals without causing it to bind up. I typically use um, like a thicker motor oil or a break-in lube on the um, lobes and on the journals because if the camshaft has not been run before it's important that it's not run dry. So in closing it's important that the pistons are down from the deck and that you are installing the camshaft in an even fashion. Be patient and you won't have a problem with it. Hopefully you'll follow these steps and avoid breaking a camshaft during installation. Hope you enjoyed this week's tech tip. You can tune in next week for an all new tech tip. If you like us on Facebook or subscribe to our channel below. Thanks.